What's up, world? You know it's time for another THX Inc. Beer Time video. I'm out here, beginning of football season. Today's the first Saturday of college football. I'm watching a couple of those games and just chilling out. And uh, they keep talking about how fall is in the air and stuff like that. And you can feel it too. It's starting to cool off. And in, down here in Texas, that's a much welcome reprieve from the heat and humidity. So I'm enjoying actually probably the nicest day in over two months down here in uh, H-Town. And so uh, I'm starting to see some of these fall beers show up in the stores. And I came across this Sierra Nevada seasonal sampler. See that. Check it out if it'll show up in the refocus ISO or not. I'm trying to keep it in the light there for you guys. Let's see what's going on there. But it's got one of my favorite IPAs in here. Uh, red IPA. It's called Flipside by Sierra Nevada. And then their standard pale ale is in here. But there's two other ones too that I've never had. There's a Vienna style lager and a autumn brown ale called Tumbler. And I'm not real familiar with those styles. So as a craft beer ref or whatever people want to call me, I think it's important that I understand all the styles of beer that are available out there. And we'll get to talking about this whole referee thing here in a little bit too. I think it needs some addressing. And so uh, we'll have a beer with you guys. Enjoying this fine day. Let's open this up. Brand new 12 pack. Pretty, pretty. We'll have this flip side first, man. This is a fine beverage. You can see the label, the way the lighting's acting up here, but love the label on that. The sun's going the other way. It's evening time here on the patio. But yeah, fall's a coming. It's my favorite time of year. Probably mostly because I live in Texas and it's so impressively hot during summer. And our winters aren't too bad. Worst case scenario, it's like 40 degrees and raining. Look at that, poor. Two fingers. Call you out, not really. This whole thing about having a ref and having rules, blueprint, kind of needs some resolution, I feel, at least among some of us in the community. Uh, you know, the malt liquor guys, they had this blueprint thing they do, and a person who calls himself the ref, 209 JJ Jones, and uh, those guys have fun with the rule set that they try to adhere to. Silly little things, you know, like gotta have your thumb up in the air and you drink. And a couple things they do though that I do respect and I think that keeping the label in the video, especially for craft beer, has some relevance. I feel that's fairly important because it is craft beer. And there's so many different kinds. With so many cool artwork. And they're also different. So I think that deserves some acknowledgement in the process of making a video. I'm not going to call you guys out that don't do it. That's fine. But here at Boom Shaka Lager, where our emphasis is on the beer experience and the craft beer lifestyle. 
we're going to do our best to feature the beer. I will not always do a review. I will talk briefly about the beverage. Uh, I'm no expert as far as all the different flavor palettes that are available through the craft beer experience. I know if it tastes good, and I know if I like it, and I know if it's too bitter, or too sweet, too malty, too uh, carbonated. That's about as far as I can go with it. And that's all you really need to know. So, uh, let's enjoy some of this beverage. It's been almost eight months since I've had a flip side because it's seasonal, you know. That's kind of interesting to do is to take when you have a beer and you think it's really good and then it's unavailable and you can't really have it for a period of time and so you're having other beers and your, your palate is always shifting, changing. For example, I'm a great example of this, is I used to not really be an IPA kind of guy. And here I have an IPA that's kind of malty, and it's not as big a turn on as it used to be. Flipside Red, Red IPA is a rebuttal to the mild manner beers of summer. It's got a tropical fruit and citrus hop flavors. Old Cone Citra, Simone, oh, I'm sorry, Simcoe, and Centennial hops. Those are pretty popular with California West Coast style IPAs. So it's a balanced IPA. Red, it's got some malt base. definitely got the multi head on it. You'll see a lot of IPAs will have that real thick lacing or at least the head will kind of die off after a while. But a, a malt heavy beer will, will carry the, the head for a little longer. Anyway, talk about this referee thing in the craft beer drinking community. There's been some discussion whether or not I could step in in place of Big Grabowski. And my first thoughts, honestly, were that I don't have the time. I mean, I probably do, but I'm just not the type of person to sit there and immerse myself in the YouTube drinking community, sit there and watch video after video after video, and follow channel after channel after channel, and keep up with all the content people are putting out there. Now I will sit down from time to time and grind through some videos, check out the latest and greatest from some of my favorite subs. But I don't have the time to sit there and participate in a role that to say is the equivalent of that which 209 Jay Jones does. And personally, I don't think the craft beer drinking community needs a referee person, right? I think that's the wrong role. If you're going to have a blueprint and have all these little minor details that you think are important because your beer sucks ass and there's really nothing else to talk about other than whatever your topic of the day is or that door foam sucks and to give some guys some calls, call outs and stuff, that's fine. But with craft beer, you know, we, we can talk about the beer. We can talk about the craft beer lifestyle. For example, you know, uh, I just finished up a trip to a music festival where I was hoping to get more footage than I did. I got a little bit. I may, may or may not put it up because it's so limited. 
I might save that footage for later to tie in with other craft beer lifestyle adventures or um, we'll just see. I may just archive it for uh, future use for uh, making another craft beer lifestyle video. If you guys have not checked out my craft beer lifestyle videos, I encourage you to check out number two, which is at the brewery tours. That one is an example of what I hope to do more of with the craft beer lifestyle video series. Again, my channel will always bring variety, bring a different perspective on different things. I'll have different ways of approaching my videos. I may or may not do a chug. I may or may not do a beer review. I may or may not do pre-post editing. I may or may not combine videos. It could just be a one-off, you know, video to fill some space on my channel. I'm continuing to look for subs. So if you guys uh, know of anyone who might enjoy my channel, send them my way. I do give shout outs for, uh, for channels and new subs that are kind of in line with what I'm doing and that engage me, engage uh, the process of what or the content that I'm trying to produce. Now, there's probably was some uh, misunderstanding about one of my more recent videos in which I made suggestions to some of the more vocal people in the CBDC that they change what they do from time to time on their channel. There's one guy, I'm always poking fun at him because he always has his light, or he used to have his light this lamp in the foreground of his, like behind him, off to the side, in his videos. And when, as the viewer, it's very distracting. It creates this glare. And also, you can't, all you see really is the shot, kind of a uninteresting, very low contrast video of him and his presentation. I'm a photographer at heart. I've had some video school. I've had some uh, recording technology school, post-production, stuff like that back in the day. But one of the most basic things of photography or videography is your light source is behind the camera, or at least even with it and not in the lens. So I've always poked fun at him about that. So there may be some misunderstanding when I made comments about making improvements to someone's lighting. Also, a selfie stick to me does not include, I mean, that, that's fine every now and then, you know, for a video, but mix it up. And so that's all I'm saying. If you're gonna be, uh, in fact, you know, Ted Barris, for example, does mix it up quite well. He's investing some, uh, some resources into improving his production. He's already had good production from a post and pre-post, he understands the lighting concepts I'm talking about, and having a good camera, and having good sound. He's an entertainer. He's got the personality. He's got everything that it takes to put on a good video. So, if you're gonna, like, check out someone's videos and kind of look at facts, Ted Barris is one of the influences I had when I first started making videos. Oh man, speaking of blueprint, if you switch beers, you gotta change the glass. I'll be right back. There you go. Fresh glass. Because you don't want to be pouring an IPA or this pale ale into this glass that just had a red IPA in it, right? That'll dilute the flavor. So that's another part of my blueprint. It makes complete sense. Switch beers. Especially in your video, change to a clean glass. And always pour your craft beer in a glass. 
the three important things, folks, in the label, of course. Basic Sierra, Nevada, Pale Ale style. This will have more pine, citrus flavor than this last one did. Keep them in the camera eye as long as the sun is out. Thinking that could fall off there and end up on my breaking on the concrete here. So, um, I was talking about Ted Barris, quality videos, and a good blueprint for making drinking videos. I wasn't really calling him out. I've had about nine beers in an hour making that video, and I've seen some videos I, I wish that were better that day. So perhaps I had that on my mind. I don't know. The whole thing outside with the sky as a backdrop, you know, again, that creates that very low dynamics on the subject and uh, lots of shadow, I guess. So, but you know, anyway, that's beside the point. You guys rock, man. I love your videos. Keep on doing what you're doing. We all have different styles, and that's fine. That's the beauty of the craft beer drinking community. Everyone can do their own thing. My liquor guys, they have a blueprint. They all kind of got to follow some kind of deal, you know? I guess our forte should be do your own thing. Do what makes you happy. Drink what makes you feel quenches your thirst. It could be malt liquor. I've seen your refrigerator, Ted Bears, and uh, you got some good taste in beers. And there's nothing wrong with a cold uh, malt liquor on a day where it's hot and you only got three bucks in your pocket. That's fine. Whatever. Um, just enjoy what you enjoy when you want to enjoy it, and share it if you want to. So this thing about the ref thing, I don't think it's really necessary in the CBDC. Um, we have a chairman, and that, that's fine. Maybe two or three, and there's some confusion there on who th thinks they're the chairman. But in my opinion, who the chairman should be would not be just the guy who can slam beers. That would be the, the chugging chairman, right? Or the slam chairman, or the chair slam. Craft beer chairman should be somebody who perpetuates the craft beer art, the lifestyle, and can deliver a quality video that has variety, a channel that has variety in different things, whether that be educational videos, whether that be a chug video, which I'm not very good at. You're coming here to see chugs. It's not going to happen. But you don't have to slam to drink like a man. I can still put these down, you know, in two or three gulps if I want to, and that's that's more than they're intended to be consumed. You know, a lot of craft beers are meant to enjoy to be sipped. I think my kitty wants to come outside and enjoy me. Kitty! She's in the window. She's inside. Curious what I'm doing out here. So anyway, just wanted to talk to you guys about that. A couple blueprint things. No need for a ref. And no harm, no foul with uh, Metal Madman or Ted Barris. My last video, it's a misunderstanding if I was calling you guys out wasn't the case at all. I'm just driving for more quality in our videos. Now this camera here is shooting in 640, which I do for most uh, most videos only because a lot quicker upload time. I shoot the shit in high def, man. It's like, I might as well just drop that thing on the computer and let it load all night. You know, because uh, 
also I've only got two, I've got an eight gig card, I've got a four gig card that I can slip right into the laptop, which also increases the upload time as opposed to going through a USB 2.0. Uh, a couple shout outs, or just one that I can think of right now. Brister, I liked your video of uh, going outside to have a beer. That was kind of funny. Carrying your cooler and your tripod, and you're like walking out of your, your community there, and you're going to go find a spot to go drinking. That kind of reminds me of when I was living with my parents. And uh, us kids would go, hey, we sneak around, man. We got to sneak around and find a place to have a beer. We'd pr pr probably drink malt liquor too, and I get a six pack of Mickey's or something, twelve pack of Milwaukee's Best or some kind of cheap beer. We'd sneak around, try to find a place secluded, drink our beers. So I thought that was kind of funny when you said that your gated community would kind of like call you out on public display of recreational consumption of alcohol. It's too bad so many people are uptight about that shit. Even down here in Texas, man, you can't go to the state parks and have public display. I mean, you can have your beer out, but it needs to have a koozie on it or a paper bag or something like that. It's stupid. Don't want to influence the children. <laughs> you know, it's stupid. Educate them. Don't influence them and let them make their own choice. Hell, I had my first Coors when I was like 10 or 12 years old, and then it tasted like ass. And I can tell you right now, Coors still tastes like ass. But, uh, yeah. So, welcome to fall, everyone out there in the YTDC. Thanks for stopping in with Boom Shaka Laga. Hope to bring you some more videos. I'm working on another series video for uh, week one of the football season. I might even stretch it in the first couple weeks. But it's going to be a craft beer lifestyle series video about uh, watching sports and enjoying craft beer and, and food. And that will also kind of segue into my... Uh, other project that I'm doing with the uh, craft beer pairings with bar food, right? You probably heard me talk about that already. So those projects are in the works. I'm getting little clips here and there, and I'll always uh, once I string them all together, it becomes done, and I'll upload it. So as a pint glass army production. So cheers and beers. Here's to fall. Here's to fall. Here's the football season. Finally, go Cowboys! I know that's gonna make a give me a lot of haters, but uh, what can I say, man? I was born and raised in Dallas, Fort Worth. And that's not the only reason. I may be a homer, but I also just love the Cowboys, man. They've had some great players over the years. They got some good players now, and uh, they can contend. They've got some work to do. Some teams to, uh, you know, they, they got to get over that hump. And I think they need some help on defense to get that done. Um, it's too bad we lost one of our, uh, our big time corners. It's always been a weakness for us, but we got some depth there. So, a bunch of young guys on the back end of the D. Uh, the O line should be no problem. It's going to be better than it was last year. We should mow over most offensive line. Uh, defensive lines, and that'll help the uh, running back by committee situation we got there in, here in Dallas. And then Romo, he says, people bag on him, man, but dude's money. I mean, the only reason he has that image of being a choker is because he's aggressive. And I would much rather have an aggressive quarterback than some pussy thrown out of bounds or out of the back of the end zone uh, when the game's on the line. So. Cheers and beers. Thanks for watching. Take Jack Z. Boom Shaka Lager. Video time out.